you got to do with 57 Virgins? You're just blowing your balls off. And what are you doing in Glasgow looking for 57 Virgins? <laughs> Hello, what's there, crack? What's the story? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out some Billy Connolly terrorist attack at Glasgow Airport. This geezer is, is fast becoming one of my favorite Scottish comedians. Him, Kevin Bridges. Who else is Scottish? Sorry. <laughs> my head is frozen. My head is frozen. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this geezer. Let's go. You see the terrorists in Glasgow, the, the, the Islamic fellas. <laughs> just a wee while ago, and fucking, what were they fucking thinking about? <laughs> Bringing terror to Glasgow. <laughs> Bad choice, boys! <laughs> Should have known better than that. They don't mind a bit of terror in Glasgow. <laughs> they heard you were coming, religious fanatics. They thought, oh, I'm not sure about religious fanatics without a fucking football team. What can I do? <laughs> Obviously, talking about Rangers and Celtic, you, sh you should know about that. You should know, if you know Scotland. I saw the whole thing in New York on the news. I thought I would need an ambulance. I have never laughed like it. <laughs> Fucking idiots. That whole suicide bomber shite. It's it just, what a prick. No. <laughs> just once the suicide bomber instructor right lads pay attention i'm only going to show you this once <laughs> you'll hear a whoosh and then something will go over your head resembling flying mints My ass. What, what are you going to do with 57 virgins? You're just blowing your balls off. And what are you doing in Glasgow looking for 57 virgins? I don't get it. There was a hero, John Smeaton, and I know him. I've since I met him since, and he's a delightful man. He was a baggage handler at the airport, and he was out for a smoke. <laughs> and the Berlin jeep showed up. And I've, I've said this every single time I've reacted to Billy Connolly. It reminds me of the two geezers from Steel Game every single time. Some, uh, something McDade and something Esquire. This comes of Esquire. It reminds me of the, of, was it? the tall geezer, the taller geezer, yeah, in Steel Game every single time. I feel like this is why I understand Scottish jokes a lot now because I've watched that show and I've seen different characters. The geezer with no leg, with one leg, sorry. The lady, the lady that's very, very nosy. The barman getting slacked every single time. The two fellas walking. Little characters like that. That's the way I got introduced into Scottish comedy and little things like you know, hi, you know, that wee fella. You know, little. I've 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 learned loads from it, and I said I'm I'm gonna react to some funny moments I've, I've seen it like a year ago i've seen them ago but it'd be good to actually watch it again with you guys let me know if you guys want to see that yeah let's continue guys on fire people beating the shit <laughs> <laughs> he's not trying to grab us the wrong time <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> oh, guys trying to commit suicide <laughs> Was the funniest thing, and John the hero standing there, 
and he's, he's been interviewed by this woman. She's obviously from some leafy suburb, Hampstead or something. And, and she said, no, John. When the fracas, I mean, When the fracas ensued, was the Duke of Blaze at the time? Was, was the Cherokee of Blaze the, as the fracas ensued? He says, what? <laughs> at the start of the fight. He says, so oh, I. And he used an expression I haven't heard since I was a boy. He said, the flames were squishing right out the back. <laughs> and she's going, squish. <laughs> and women are heading the way a Labrador does. I think it was using. I think his Scottish accent was a bit. Normally, I'd understand. There was a few. There was a few words that I didn't, I didn't get there. I didn't get there, so I couldn't really get it. Uh, get the word. Get the comedic part of it. But obviously, the squish part, the aerosol part, I got that. But there's some part I just didn't really understand. You guys, please do let me know down below. Thank you. A change of got such a surge of pride. And I know you coming from Belfast are exactly the same. I'm from Glasgow, so they, and, and we're very remarkably similar. And I know you feel the same. Just sometimes you hear something about your town and you go, fuck yes, I come from there. That's where I fucking come from, you know. Yes, I fucking live there. Don't you forget it. She, she says to him, have you anything to say? to terrorists who are thinking of coming to Glasgow. <laughs> and John looks up the lens, he says, don't come here. <laughs> and then he adds, we'll set right about you. <laughs> was something that i feel like the big i really enjoyed the beginning more towards the end i couldn't really understand there's some part i couldn't understand obviously the audio wasn't the best i think someone was recording in the audience so there was some part i, I couldn't understand but 85 percent of the event i really got and it was really funny i think kevin bridges made a joke about this as well i can't remember which attack was this so obviously i'm guessing there was an attack in glasgow but i can't remember when it, when it actually happened i can't remember hearing, hearing about it but yeah, it looks like everyone was proud. Not proud, but they can say, that's my city. I remember Kevin Bridges saying he was proud and his dad was happy that. Not happy, but you could say, I lived there. I've been there. <laughs> what the fuck? Again, I'm rambling. Sorry about that. Yeah, if you guys like Billy Connolly, you want to see any other stuff, you know what to do. Comment down below and I'll try to react to it. Make sure you like, subscribe. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.